Okay, just attempting a nice casual 40 minute game. Let's see how we carry on. So let's go with old school mentality. So we'll just bring the knight out as usual. And he's brought it attacking the knight. So is this new? Does that mean we can bring our knight here attacking the queen because the knight bishop wants to take the knight? Looking to exchange the queens off maybe, because if we bring the bishop here then that's problems. Could bring the knight up, because now it's attacking this area. Do you think we want to go with that? Shall we go with that? It's attacking the pawn, also attacking the bishop here. Try and keep it simple, don't need to rush, nice and steady. I'm wanting some long games to practice with. Got a bit of a challenge coming up, so I need to be getting the longer games in just to um, get the thinking process kicking in. There are some types of openings I want to be faced. I want to be facing. I want the opponents to come out with those tactical type things, so that then I can relax my creative brain in not overthinking the position, thinking that it's a, a monster attack when really. It's got a few moves before it actually kicks in. So the bishop's gone back protecting the pawn, so it's nice that they've actually taken the time to think of the move. So that's really good. We could push on to the bishop, look to get the, get rid of the bishop in that sense. But the problem we've got is the queen is going to come running here and taking this pawn. Can't necessarily push this pawn up because the bishop's got a pin through here. So it looks like it's going to be our queen supporting this particular pawn. So it's an early queen move, so we'll move, we'll do that so that we're not falling asleep, taking our time over the potential threats that the opponent's having. So he's brought the knight out, so our knight could freely just take his knight off the board. The concern I have, creative brain kicking in, is that he opens this pawn because he wants this rook to be facing this pawn. Is that something that we really need to be worried about? Because we've got the bishop protecting on this side. So do I need to worry about that? Should I just take the knight off the board? He can't kingside castle now. So he has to think of castling in some other way. So it probably makes it worse for themselves. So while I'm thinking of that, is there anything else? We could push on to the bishop, like we said. He brings his bishop here. But then our knight is being overworked. Our knight wouldn't be there in a sense if we took here. Um, but if we left it and we took pushed up here, his knight could take our knight, takes the pawn. So overcomplicating the situation, thinks, I'm still thinking of this threat even though it's nothing. So I need to knock that on the head. I'm trying to get rid of their queen, so could I not touch their queen first? Where am I sending the queen to? Probably sending it back here or maybe even keeping that diagonal here. So if it does move back, then our knight, I suppose, could challenge it. So it's again attacking a higher piece with a lesser piece. But then he's got this diagonal with a two on one on the pawn. So I think what we're going to do is take the knight first and then do the smaller piece attacking a higher piece situation. So we'll then attack the queen with the pawn. So he's moved back into the center. We could attack to see whether or not he wants to exchange. So just attack the queen without any forethought there. And if he does exchange, obviously we take with the bishop. But if he doesn't and he's looking for something fancy. And he's come down with his pawn. He's come down with the pawn. The queen can come here with a check. And it's almost kind of like winning the... Um, bishop but what will happen is once the queen goes here his knight will jump through protecting but also protecting the bishop as well so is that a little bit of a waste of a movement and it makes them look quite clever doesn't it so i'm actually going to take the pawn still looking for the exchange so i'd rather not develop their pieces if i don't have to so i'll keep them jammed in as best possible So we're currently plus one on the tail of the tape, just trying to use the proper proper methodology that we've created for ourselves, trying to use that experience and we've come to the end result of, so we can just take the queen off, but as we've said before, 
sometimes just taking the queen there might be a better position so I'm going to look for a better position and you see this here we can now take his bishop for free so I'm actually going to take the bishop for free because there's no threats on there now and the opponent looks like they have left the game so countdown is five four three two one and we'll claim victory on that so that was a, a nice a nice play and I did like the way the opponent did take the time with their position looking for those ideal positions and I did like also the aspect of us looking at our creative thinking and turning that into logical thinking and then looking at the advantages as we mentioned here yeah we could straightforward just take the queen off the board but sometimes you can look on the board and find a better position that maybe even gets you a checkmate or case in point in this game getting a free piece nice one good practice so we'll go on to the next game